What's up, Connor? Hi. I'm Nate. Welcome to Real Talk, KTIG's talk show. In today's show, we have three guests from Yearbook to talk with us a little bit about what being in Yearbook is all about. So stay tuned for today's edition of Real Talk. Once again, we would like to welcome our special guest panel. Let's start by welcoming our guests. Could you start by um, exp uh, saying what your name is, grade, and uh, what you do on the yearbook? So my name is Debbie Barba. I'm a senior, and I'm the ads marketing editor. OK. My name is Marina Ortega. I'm, I'm a senior and the layout editor. My name is Emma Kempel. I'm a senior, and I'm the um, editor-in-chief. Very nice, very nice. Uh, how long have y'all been in your book? I've been in your book for two years. OK. I've been in it for three. And I've been in it all four years. Four years, wow, we got some real yearbook veterans here. What uh, has been your favorite school event to capture in for the yearbook? Mm, probably my freshman year I covered prom, and I took pictures of that, and then I go to every single football game. I haven't missed a game in um, forever. And then also, like just like the bigger sporting events and pep rallies. Very nice. How about I, you? I really enjoy the last couple football games. Mm -hmm. I would you? say for me, Senior Sunrise, it was a happy day. Senior Sunrise was really cool. I saw a lot of cameras around there. Mm -hmm. So here's another question. Do you guys consider yourselves to be like photographers? Like, is that something you would like to go into after you graduate? Um, I haven't really thought about that yet. I um, mm -hmm. probably won't. But it's really fun. I enjoy doing it with your book. Yeah. It's really fun, but I don't think me personally. Mm -hmm. Um, probably so. I've been taking pictures since I was like seven, so like pictures is kind of all I really do. So like I'll probably do it. What I really want to do is like sports media somewhere around there. So like basically what you do is you cover like the football teams and like it's not just games, it's like practice, game days and all that they do, like they have media days. And yeah, so I probably would. That's really cool. All right, well, thank you so much for sharing, guys. Next up, we'll talk more about the process of actually making a yearbook right after this quick commercial break. So what's your talent? Um, I, I played the ukulele. What? A ukulele? Get out. Go now. Ah, you play guitar? Yeah, I play the guitar. Oh, nice. Yeah, you played this last season? Uh, n no. Get out. Go! You got my hopes up, and you ain't gonna do Go! I don't want you. So, what's your talent? Huh, well, glad you should ask. I give amazing tutorials, guys. And if you want to be a judge for this spring's talent show, then scan this QR code right here, guys. Again, that's this QR code. Scan it with your phone. Fill out the form. Welcome back, guys. Let's dive into some more questions. Um, firstly, what does the process of actually making the yearbook look like? So we start in the summer, really, and so one of the things an editor-in-chief does is you go in and you start assigning pages. So like each page has different, like I guess you would say like different staffs cover each page. So like photography, you obviously are going to take pictures for the page and you're also going to have to edit and put in the folio. That's a teeny tiny little picture in the corner. So you're in charge of that for like four or five pages and then you have like the mods, that's like the little fun stuff and it's like the questions, quizzes, or like just like pictures and cutouts that we design. And then we have layout and they put in the pictures and they choose which ones they want. And then they write the captions and do the headlines. And then this year we're featuring color matching. So like our dominant picture, the biggest picture, we're gonna go in and like choose like little detail like stuff. So for example, one of them, the football practice page, we took the color from the roof and then we made that the bars, and like we do complementary colors for those. Nice, nice. Um, 
What are some challenging tasks that come with the yearbook? Meeting deadlines. Meeting deadlines? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so. Like finding names for them too. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is that, is that, did you agree with that one? That, yeah, like, for sure. Yeah. Um, how do you, I've actually been wondering this, how do you decide like what goes in the yearbook and what doesn't go into the yearbook? Um, we try and get as much coverage as we can, but there's only like 300 pages, so there's mm -hmm. only so much we can include and can't. You gotta fit it like within the yeah. like, space. Student portraits and stuff, that like takes up about, would you say like a 50 uh, to 100 yeah. pages? Yeah. Wow. So that takes up a ton and then you also want to include like every team and you try to get every club if you can. So like you just want to get everything that you can. In order to fit it into mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. whole space. That's good. Um, how long does it take usually for the yearbook to be completely finished? So we start in about like we come back in August. So we mm -hmm. start late August, early September around there, and then we try to get it done by March or February. Spring. Yeah. yeah. So what uh, what about the rest of the time between like February and May? Like what what does that process look like? So uh, then we start yeah. the yeah. projects and final exams, and that's whenever we come up with a new theme for next mm -hmm. year's staff. So like, I don't think we'll have to do it because seniors usually make a senior portfolio and so we'll put like all of our best pictures or like captions or our pages in there and then we also like we'll build a resume. Okay, that's really good. Um, how do you guys like split up the work? Does everyone get a page? Like um, do you get to decide what you focus on? Like how does that work exactly? So, do you there's, want to talk about that one? Oh, yeah, there's like a page assignment we have, and mm -hmm. we usually try and split it evenly between all staff. And, yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, editors <laughs> get entire pages. Yeah. Like, yeah. We get like breakers. Oh, yeah, like, that too. Those are like the pages that have, like, for example, we did one about the, um, what was last year? Was last year the. Voting thing. Oh yeah, we oh, had yeah, a whole yeah we had breaker. voting things, and then we also had like how social distance affected like students and like how it like affected them men like mentally and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So, lastly, who gets to actually take the pictures? Like, is there a requirement needed to be able to take them, or can just anybody in the staff uh, like take the pictures? I mean, like photographers usually take them, but if like a layout editor. I mean, mm -hmm. a layout person needs a picture, they can go and take the pictures. Mm -hmm. And okay. then whenever you fill out like your application, if you want to be a, photog or, ooh, a <laughs> photographer, then you'll like submit pictures with your like um, application. And then a lot of kids want to be a photographer, but it takes like a lot of time out of your life. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Well, it was great hearing from y'all what y'all had to say. We are going to take one more quick break. When we come back, we will continue talking to our guests about the yearbook. The Tiger Talent Show is coming up this spring on March 30th. Auditions are officially open today. All you have to do to audition is scan the QR code on the TVs or go to KTIGnews.com to fill out the audition form. The first, second, and third place winners will get a cash prize, so make sure to get your audition in before the deadline, January 21st. KTIG is also accepting applications for judges for the show. If you are a student or faculty member interested in being a judge, just go to KTIGnews.com to fill out the application or scan the QR code on the TVs. For more info about this year's talent show, just visit KTIGnews.com. The University of Texas at Tyler is one of the many colleges that are part of the University of Texas system. The University of Texas at Tyler offers majors in nursing, business, engineering, arts and sciences, pharmacy, pre-med, and teacher education. Although it is part of the UT system, the university prides itself on maintaining a smaller student to professor ratio with class sizes around 19 students each. The university itself has an enrollment of less than 10,000 students. UT at Tyler also offers around 100 student organizations and has 17 NCAA athletic teams. If you choose to attend UT at Tyler, you will have a unique college experience full of passion, community, and opportunity. To close out today's show, we have a few more questions for our guest panel. Firstly, when and where can you purchase this year's yearbook? 
So you can purchase any time from today and ideally by January when we send off our estimate of how many yearbooks we need to order. And you can purchase in person in room 227 with Ms. Gold from a staff member or online at www.balfour.com. Okay, cool. And uh, how much do the yearbooks usually cost? Uh, right now they're on sale for $80. Wow. <laughs> um, how long will yearbooks uh, be on sale, do you think? Like how long is the window of opportunity in order to buy them? Mm -hmm. I would say ideally again January, um, just to make get a guarantee that you'll have your yearbook because we do sell out pretty fast. So I'm sure the public wants to know <laughs> why are yearbooks so expensive? Like eighty dollars? Like I, I get it. Y'all yeah. do a lot of work. Y'all do a lot of work, but eighty bucks—that's a lot. So if you could like explain a little bit, like why the why the enormous price tag? You know. Um, They're actually cheap because, like, other schools, they do it up to, like, 100, 150, and it's, like, 300 pages. Also. Yeah. 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 And, and it's also, it does, like, yeah. the cover, yeah. okay, this is going to sound really, like, dramatic, but, like, <laughs> the fact that we have different textures on yeah. the cover oh, costs yeah. more, so, like, it we does. have to sell more. So then we oh, need like, more money. Yeah. So then we make it at a cheaper price, even though they're, like, super, yeah. like, expensive, high quality in yeah. a sense. Yeah. We do have payment plans available as well. Really? So if yeah. you want to do that, it helps for sure. And start it at $10. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like a down payment, you know? You yeah. got to make sure your credit score is good, though. Oh, you know? yeah. <laughs> you, can't, you can't just go in all willy-nilly. Mm. So, lastly, why should someone purchase a yearbook? Um, I think it's great to have a yearbook. So down the line, you can look back at your high school memories mm -hmm. and your friends and stuff. Good to look back on. It's what always nice to, like, have something physical and not be like a picture on your phone. Yeah, yeah. You can't really lose a yearbook unless you like actually like <laughs> physically <laughs> lose it. Yeah. Because they're pretty big. So. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cool. That's cool. Well, that is all the time we have for Real Talk. To all our guests, thank you so much for being with us today to talk about being a part of the yearbook. Make sure to stay tuned next week for another episode of Real Talk. And don't forget, CHS, be the reason someone smiles today.